Colin Hanks is becoming one of Hollywood's busiest and most sought-after actors. You've seen him in Untraceable, Homeland Security, King Kong, Orange County, and Band of Brothers. Tonight at the Seattle International Film Festival, you can see a special screening of Colin's newest film. It's called The Great Buck Howard, which also stars John Malkovich as a washed-up mentalist magician. Colin is a young man who hopes to resurrect Buck's career, and his dad, Tom Hanks, plays his dad in the movie. This is the centerpiece movie of this year's SIF Film Festival, and you can see it as well as attend a post-screen reception. There'll be a Q&A where you can yourself uh, meet Colin and ask him some questions. That's the Egyptian Theater tonight at 6.30. Colin Hanks, welcome to Seattle and the Bob River Show. How are you? Thank you. I'm very good. How are you? Okay. I, I can't tell you how great it is to hear that Chips theme song. You requested the theme song I did. for Chips. There's a very specific reason. I don't know why, I don't remember how it started or exactly when, but when I work, which is frequently, but not that frequent, uh, I, for example, last year I went a good 10 months without working, but for some reason, once I get on set, I cannot stop it, but I start humming the theme song to Chips. Doesn't matter what, what it movie? It does not matter. It does not matter what it is. I will be walking around set going... Exactly like that. And it's gotten to the point where, uh, as an icebreaker, I will just say to the crew, listen, I don't know if any of you guys have had the Chips theme song stuck in your head for, say, longer than, I don't know, three years. I highly recommend that you don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, saying that in every one of their minds triggers... We need to drug test this kid. Well, that's why well, it, well, <laughs> no, it, no, it, it makes it so that I feel less insane. If I, everyone else is humming it. No, but if you bad. tell me not to think of Ring My Bell or Thanks. It's Raining oh, Men... Thanks, Colin. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I, hey, I brought the Chips theme song. I did not bring Ring My Bell but or I just did it. It's I just Raining did it to, to you. Uh, maybe that'll knock Chips out of your head. Maybe. And this may know. go back pretty far because if you look back to, I mean, you were probably in the womb the year Chips was the number one show on TV. You might, you might, it might have somehow transferred. I you. think what it is to get, to get a little deep here on the radio. I think it was when I was a kid, I would ride my bike. And if I was going down a hill, coasting down a hill, I would start singing the Chips theme song at the top of my lungs because I felt like. I was like uh, Ponch and that other dude. John. John. Thank you. Way to go. Yeah, I'm, with you. I'm with you. Way to go. I'm with you. And I just felt like I was on chips. Yeah, you're going to so save the world. I think that's what it is. It's your hero moment. It sort of, that sort of proves that my job is, is like playing with toys and riding your bike. It's really fun. Sweet. Uh, this let's, call your, let's call your dad and ask. <laughs> I don't think he can. I don't think he can hum the Chips theme song to save his life. See, it's my. It's my. But the great impression. American hero, he's got down pat. It's my belief that you are uh, you're imprinted with the song that was playing when you were conceived. I, for example, have always heard Jackson by Johnny Cash. Later confessed by my dad that when he and my mom were getting busy in the back of his, you know, 62 Impala, Jackson was on the radio. Well, I think that's why Chips was on for so long, because it induced such lovemaking around yeah. the country. <laughs> yeah, having course. half of California was conceived of the theme song <laughs> Chips. To Chips, because yeah. there's nothing sexier than two highway patrolmen. <laughs> in in skin-tight <laughs> khaki pants, and yes, khaki pants? And, and knee boots, yes. And one guy's name is Ponch, <laughs> and yet he doesn't have one. I found it all very <laughs> fascinating. Colin, your film, The Great Buck Howard stars your dad, who in the film plays your dad. Who did your dad have to beat out for the part to play your dad? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, Nobody else bothered to show up for that audition? Jim J. Bullock did, but they, <laughs> we turned him down. Yeah. Um, no, he, uh, it's, it's actually kind of strange. I, 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 found the, I found the script, I read the script in 2003, and fell in love with it, and for about I would say maybe two years tried to get it made, and we were coming, we were having all sorts of issues with the financing and whatnot. So someone had suggested that they send it along to my dad's production company. Uh, and so I sort of relented and, and sort of said, okay, well, let's just sort of see what they suggest. Because um, maybe, I don't think I'm off, but maybe there's something in this that I'm not seeing that is turning people away. And uh, they read it and really fell in love with it. Um, and they said, you know, we don't want to pass this on to anyone else. We, we want to help make it. So I said, okay. 
And then my dad just sort of said, oh, yes, and uh, those two scenes as your father, yeah, I'll be playing your dad. I'll be okay, doing that. Great. Okay. And so <laughs> I can't really, I couldn't really say no. No. Uh, <laughs> and I would be an idiot to say no. Um, so that's sort of how that came. And it's just a bit part for him. <laughs> it's just two yeah. scenes. So does he, but he still probably has the biggest trailer on the set and everything, or did... <laughs> Uh, no, he didn't, actually. <laughs> so he did, he, he, like, you treated him like any other bit part actor. Yeah. That must have been fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I we know my son him. would like to belittle me somehow. We humbled him. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> so is, all, uh, clearly you're incredibly talented. You've got this in your blood as well as probably in your upbringing and your experience. Was there ever a chance that you'd go into some other career besides film? There, actually, there was a small, there, there was a small window where I was really actually tempted going into radio. Believe it or not, um, I was really I listened to a lot of radio when I was a kid, and uh, I know it sounds crazy, right, guys? Why did you really choose crazy. right or yeah. what? Well, if you want to take a vow of poverty, <laughs> but, <laughs> but there you. was a period. There was a period where 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 uh, there was a brief window where radio seemed like something that I that I wanted to do. Um, but really, to be honest, it was pretty. The acting thing was was from an early. Point in my life was something that I wanted to do. It was all just a question of when. You weren't uh, nine. No, I, I, I mean, I have a sense of who your dad is just because I've seen him my whole life. I was, I have a sense he would encourage you but not push you. Is that, is that? Yeah, fair? I mean, he said, "Look, if it's something you really like, then do it in high school, and do it in middle school, and high school, and college, mm -hmm. and then." At the end of all that, once it's absolutely necessary for you to go out and get a job and support yourself. Which is going to be soon, son. He, oh, you, might you don't get everything to, for free. No, no. <laughs> so you, you might, you might, you know, you can do it if, if, if you want. If you want to be an actor, as an actor, he felt that I could cut it. No, is it, but it, that was it. When you're involved in a project that he's also got some involvement in, Band of Brothers or, or this film, I, I played little league and i remember the coach's son always got was the most critical you know the coach would always be kind of after him does your dad treat you the same as the rest of the actors well he's not there you know coaching me mm -hmm. he's not saying come on give me some hustle he's not <laughs> doing anything like that <laughs> pretend they're real bullets come Show on some emotion <laughs> come on i want to see it in your eyes <laughs> there wasn't anything like okay, that okay okay um, uh, the but, director's like come on parents please yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't really anything like that, um, but more than anything, it's you know hmm. self-inflicted, right? You know, for lack of a better uh, phrase, mm -hmm. you know, 